Hello folks, 018 here. This is a mirror for a buddy of mine. This is a Daiwa. Let's see. Let me get the focus here going here. To Daiwa HP3 1.8 .8 to 200 megahertz. It's got 33 kW and 30 average PP. I'm going to show you some cool features on this meter. The coolest thing about this meter. I like. I'm gonna put it in PP mode, 30 watt scale. All right, you got the light on and off in the back, and you got this hang time on it, so you can take and go. Now watch the meter. On, 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 on. See, it holds your peak up, but you don't have to run that. See, a lot of people don't like that, so you can go on, 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 on. Oh, by the way, you're getting to see what my 88 does. Hello, audio. 88 Galaxy. Hello, audio. All right. Now, the cool feature on this meter is you can go to average, okay? You can't run peak and average at the same time. But let's say you're running a big steel tube box or uh, any kind of tube box with an input tune and you need to tune it. This is why I got this meter from a friend. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Of course, there ain't no SWR showing. The reason why is because it's on the dummy load. By the time it gets there, there's nothing there. Okay. What I'm going to do now, let me turn this one slug in reverse. Well, first, let's look and see if it matches. Okay. Hello, audio. Let's go back to peak. Hello, audio 22. All right. My bird's in line too. 50 watt slow. PP. We're in a middle scale. Hello. What about that? Matches my bird. Goddamn. Okay. Now, let's turn some juice on. We're turning my famous 350 high drive DI box on. We'll go up to the 300 watt scale. PP. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 240. We'll go back to the average here. Let me turn this hang time off. I don't like that myself. I like it like it. Hello, audio. And fall right back down. All right, now we're going to go back to average. We'll read our standing wave on the right and our power on the left. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Boy, it's still flat. Guess that's a good bird dummy load. Let me see here. Hello, audio. Yeah, it's going to show dead flat. I'll have to. Let's flip it up a scale. Hello, audio. Hello. There it goes. I'm going to peg it. It's working. I'm going to make sure that meter was working. All right. So you see how it all works. I'm going to turn the light off on it because the camera do better. Hello, audio. Whoa. Don't want to do that. 300 watt scale. Hello, audio, audio. That's our MS. That's our average. Average, average, average. Seven. So at seven, that will be 70 watts. Hello, 80 watts. Okay. Peak. Hello, audio. Two, hello, 220. Let's go up here and look at the accuracy of this meter. 1,000 watt slug. Um, all right, we're in average mode. Hello, audio. 70, 80 watts. Go to PP. On, 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 two. On, two, 220. What about that? Actually, I'm trying to, I think I'm going to check into being a dealer for these meters. Because, man, they're awesome. These things are about 200 bucks. New. And those of you that can't afford a, a LP or whatever, this is great. I mean, this is the meter to put in front of that big steel tube amp 3CX 3000 A7 that everybody wants and set the input to. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope we got to kind of show off the meter. Let me show the sides. It's got the rubber sides on it. Let me show you the back. There's your switches on the back. I just wanted to show it to you, everybody. I've recommended this meter to several people. Everybody loves it.
and that might be a little icy adapter for it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, I just want to share it with you guys. See what you think. I got a 2000 model in my house. But anyway, we'll catch you later. Your friend 10018 Beavis. We're back quiet.